time for it. Strip. Make sure it's backwards. I know. Your pens, your pencils. We'll get started here in just a second. So, um, we're going to play off of what we did in the Kauai lesson, uh, drawing the sequential uh, little characters that we did. We're going to use those guys as inspiration, draw a quick comic strip. Uh, how to do that. Uh, Betsy is here. <laughs> so um, we'll be able to compare some notes here our comic strips after we're finished today so um flip around here so that you guys there. so you guys can see what we've got Here's our paper here's a flower that's from last year she's been doing some cool stuff let me show you this, this is um a flower made And uh, I'm a big Garfield fan. Yeah. When I was in um, high school, middle school, um, I collected all but They're somewhere. Yeah. I've been donated eons ago. But um, so we're going to, maybe the cat, I don't know, our little dim sum dumpling ball down here. He's kind of, you can use them. So, mm -hmm, you can use those. So we're going to. Looking at these characters, we're going to, we want to be inspired by. So make sure you have a straight edge, courtesy of uh, Lowe's. It's just a paint stir. They give these away free. So if you need a, a straight edge, you can walk in there and probably get one. If if you uh, feel comfortable walking in there, let me put it that way. So let's put this right here for our inspiration. Um, you can do whatever you like with yours. For my pins, we're going to be using, uh, later on, we're going to be using these um, Stadler uh, pigment liners. Very nice drawing pin. You have something blue on your nose. <laughs> Back again. <laughs> um, six shades of gray. Um, couldn't afford the other four, so I just got six. So, to get us comic strip, we we are going to. I'm going to use the sharp. I keep saying every episode. I love sharpie. To get started, we're going to draw our box. So I'm using the chisel end of the sharpie here. Oh, we're gonna do that type of animation. Close. Doesn't have to be perfect. So there's our first box. We're going to divide that into thirds. So here's our three. There's our three pieces for our first comic strip. And while I'm going to go ahead and draw a box. Oh, we keep cutting. Yep, up here on the mountain, the self-service is not that good. Or, um, everybody's um, playing on the phone today, or um, there's a squirrel. I'm pretty sure it's the third. Squirrels, they're pesky. They're very hard to deal with. I've heard that they're nuts. <laughs> You're funny, Dad. Funny looking. <laughs> All right, so for the third comic strip, the second comic strip, instead of thirds, I'm actually going to do something a little different. So I'm going to make a normal first box. I gotta wait for you to be done with that. A more narrow second box, <laughs> and a more narrow third box, so we can get four cells out of this one. 
And there we go. Okay, here you go, Betsy. Michael. Straight edge for you. <laughs> Straight edge. Yep. So the when doing a comic strip, again, you want to do the sequential, um, sequential characters. But one of the tricks of doing a comic strip, I don't think I can necessarily do it. This drawing paper. These drawings are dark enough. But one of the... Oh, no, we can do like this. There we go. Keeps cutting out. Sorry about that. So we can... The character through here, so... That's one of the things I'm going to... Some of these, as well as drawing some new. So... I'm going to put the cat right here in the middle. Uh, the point oh five. Actually, let's do point oh three. Pin. And we'll trace him out there. Tail comes around like that. Okay, there he is. And then I'm going to go ahead and slide my picture over to the last cell because I'd like to do is actually I think I'll just do it like here in the middle. I'll do his head real big in the middle. And then now for the end picture, except for the it's too big, but I want to so I'm going to draw him. There we go. Now he's got the one eyebrow raised. Looks a little, he's either perturbed or annoyed. No telling. So here's the basic form of our comic strip. We'll decide what content. So but first, before we get further into that, I'm going to pull out the lightest gray. And... Let's see. Let's go up a couple shades. Not not the darkest. We want them to be kind of contrasting. So we can see. Alright. And so looking at our original one here. Let's go through and believe his nose. stripes like this you can duplicate same thing with his tail just like that and while I have this light gray we'll put a line back here for room maybe the line here moves to down this area and so, And then let's add. He has two sets of stripes before you get to his head. He has two sets of stripes on each of his hips. Stripes on his Four sets of stripes on his tail. Sure. 
when we do the version of this, that that remains consistent, the number of stripes. So move to the next one. We'll color this one in too. There we go. Make sure you guys can. Again, going around his nose. There we go. Man, this thing is connected. We'll be all right, though. Those ears. He sort of looks like a... a <clears throat> Stripes, because he's so close, you can't see the rest of them. So just this top stripes. What is this? Just roll on. Where did it? No, what is that? <laughs> Let me see. What is that? I think it's like something for nails. I found out that thing. What in the heck? I don't know what that is. Ew. Sit it over here. <laughs> All right. Because I got a hook. What have you been drawing? I've been drawing the I skate the carrot. It lines up with the camera. All right. Yeah, don't. There's your bunny rabbit from last time. Very good. This one looks bad. <laughs> looks like she went worse. Looks good. So what, what's going on down here? Going his butt. Crazy <laughs> okay. Right. Carrot. Rabbit runs away. Very nice. No rabbit chase. Thank you, uh, Verizon and Facebook. Get what you pay for, right? Eat the carrot. Very cool. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get a little bit bigger marker. Um, use this sharpie here yeah. round our cap he's a cyclops and go into this one we'll do the same thing the character cyclops I think we're going to cut this one short since we keep cutting out so much. So, a couple of different, I'm going to show you down the, bottom, the bottom section here. Of course, the little, the little tape that's coming from that person. Um, you can also do a couple, a couple circles and then the clock. And then um, the other one, of course, the and different. So this one is thinking. This one is speaking. If it looks like this, you know, again, the tail going down to the character where they're talking from. There's their head. Uh, as the jagged edges, usually. Um, Another one too is um, they will do uh, in a in a comic strip. You'll notice, like for example, they'll put like something like so. Again, the character is not saying this; they're making that sound, and then the mark on the side accentuate the sound. So, so up here we're going to do. He's going to be thinking. He's not actually going to be thinking. So 
Let me write my text in. Put a little bubble cloud around it. Ever have one of those days? can also do the little thought bubble where it's above him. And again, a lot of bubbles, so that means he's he's really thinking about it. Smoke cloud. All right, I think we made it through. Let's zoom in and see what we've made. There you go. One of those days. One of those days where you, where you want to be connected and involved, but your internet has other plans. I think that's been the day. So, there's our comic strip. Okay, here's mine. Let's see what Betsy's done over here. Let's turn it this way. Ooh, you got some color going on here. Very it's nice. Fun. I just wanted to color. The carrot says, I should run. And what does the rabbit say? Ha ha. Ha ha. <laughs> and he poops. And he said bye. Is he scared? He's about scared, but he's uh -oh. happy because he went. The rabbit's going to eat. The rabbit eats the carrot. The end. Bye-bye. This might be, this might have an, a, a different rating. This is kind of, this kind of serious comic strip going on over here. Yeah, no, he eats the carrot. He eats the carrot, yeah. That'd be, that'd be PG-13 because it has some graphic <laughs> violence. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Comic strips. Hope you've enjoyed today's lesson i'm sorry about the connection i will tell those pesky squirrels to stay off of our cell tower but uh until then until next time i hope you guys stay safe um, post any post your comic strips in the comments also any suggestions or recommendations for future lessons post those in the comments and we will see you next time bye bye